sclerosis is a serious inflammatory disease that affects the white outer coating of the eye, known as the sclera. The disease is often contracted through association with other diseases of the body, such as granulomatosis with polyangitis or rheumatoid arthritis. There are three types of scleritis, diffuse scleritis, nodular scleritis, and necrotizing scleritis. Scleritis may be the first symptom of onset of connective tissue disease. Episcleritis is inflammation of the episclera, a less serious condition that seldom develops into scleritis. Signs and symptoms Symptoms of scleritis include redness of the sclera and conjunctiva, sometimes changing to a purple hue, severe ocular pain, which may radiate to the temple or jaw. The pain is often described as deep or boring. Photophobia and tearing, decrease in visual acuity, possibly leading to blindness. The pain of episcleritis is less severe than in scleritis. In hyperemia, there is a visible increase in the blood flow to the sclera, which accounts for the redness of the eye. Unlike in conjunctivitis, this redness will not move with gentle pressure to the conjunctiva. Classification Scleritis can be classified as anterior scleritis and posterior scleritis. Anterior scleritis is the most common variety, accounting for about 98% of the cases. It is of two types, non necrotizing and necrotizing. Non necrotizing scleritis is the most common, and is further classified into diffuse and nodular type based on morphology. Necrotizing scleritis accounts for 13% of the cases. It can occur with or without inflammation. Pathophysiology Most of the time, scleritis is not caused by an infectious agent. Histopathological changes are that of a chronic granulomatous disorder, characterized by fibrinoid necrosis, infiltration by polymorphonuclear cells, lymphocytes, plasma cells, and macrophages. The granuloma is surrounded by multinucleated epithelial giant cells and new vessels some of which may show evidence of vasculitis. Diagnosis Scleritis is best detected by examining the sclera in daylight. Retracting the lids helps determine the extent of involvement. Other aspects of the eye exam may be normal. Scleritis may be differentiated from episcleritis by using phenylephrine or neosinephrine eye drops, which causes blanching of the blood vessels in episcleritis, but not in scleritis. Ancillary test CT scans, MRIs, and ultrasonographies can be helpful, but do not replace the physical examination. Treatment In very severe cases of necrotizing scleritis, eye surgery must be performed to repair damaged corneal tissue in the eye and preserve the patient's vision. For less severe cases, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as ibuprofen, are prescribed for pain relief. Scleritis itself is treated with an oral medication containing corticosteroids and an eye solution. In some cases, antibiotics are prescribed. Simply using eye drops will not treat scleritis. In more aggressive cases of scleritis, chemotherapy may be used to treat the disease. If not treated, scleritis can cause blindness. Complications Secondary keratitis or uveitis may occur with scleritis. The most severe complications are associated with necrotizing scleritis. Epidemiology Scleritis is not a common disease, although the exact prevalence and incidence are unknown. It is somewhat more common in women, and is most common in the fourth to sixth decades of life. References Rosenbaum J.T. The Eye and Rheumatic Diseases. In Verestein G.S., Bud R.C., Harris E.D.J.R. A.L. Eds. Kelly's Textbook of Rheumatology 8th ed. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Saunders Elsevier. 2008, Chap 46. Watson P. Diseases of the Sclera and D.P. Sclera. In, Tasman W., Jaeger E.A., Eds. Dwinea Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Ophthalmology 15th ed. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Lippincott Williams and Wilkins. 2009, Chap 23. External links, scleritis at meresi.com, scleritis article at stlukesi.com, scleritis article at merck.com.